guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in for another video today we are doing something totally different because we are getting ready for our family vacation and it's gonna be a we're gonna be doing a seven night split stay at Wyndham Star Island in Disney I believe it's the sports resort but nonetheless we'll talk about that when we get there right now we're going to be packing everything that needs to go with us it's going to be a road trip so that means we could bring whatever we want so without further ado i got everything spread out on the bed um just to give you a little bit of context this is a king size bed so you get the gist this is for four people and we have eight to ten outfits a piece um some of us have multiple pairs of shoes well really all of us are going to have multiple pairs of shoes but we'll get all into that let's get to packing and we are going to start off by packing our little tote carry-on bag i think this is a dupe for some expensive brand not really sure exactly which one it is because i don't i don't i don't know but it has a bunch of pockets in it so this is going to be our toiletry bag and i've already started by just doing my personal care bag and here we have these little deodorant wipes that i get off amazon Okay, so like I was saying before, my phone started ringing. In this little bag here, I have some deodorant rights that I get from Amazon, some panty liners, some pads, even though I've already had that time of the month for this month, just in case. And we're also going to put some chapstick, razor, deodorant, and all of my face routine stuff in here if it can fit and it fits so we have that it also has a zipper on the side let's see if we can put these stuff in here Probably not. I don't have nothing small enough to go in here. But you don't put that to the side because that's packed. And now we're gonna fill this bag. We have some bath scrub, disposable towels. We have two shower caps, one for me, one for DG. We have our African black soap, of course, our CeraVe lotion. I'm just gonna put that in these pockets on the side here. The kids toothpaste, my toothpaste, face toothpaste, our toothbrushes, of course. I'm not gonna go on this other pocket inside here. And of course, when I stop, 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 once I finish stuffing this whole bag, I'll go ahead and show you guys what we got. We got the girls' hair caps, of course, me and Gigi. And we're just going to stuff that in there. And we have, oh, I got this Elemis Muscle Oil. So we're gonna try that out. Arnica gel always works. So we're definitely gonna take that. And we have plenty of this spray on SPF. Uh, clear spray board spectrum sunscreen, of course. So we have some banana boat and then we have some CVS brand. And we have that in 50 plus and 70. Not really sure on what's what, but 
we use them all, so it doesn't really matter. And we reapply every two hours, so I remember that rule. Then we have, oh, let's do our meds. Let's put our meds in this bag. We have Gigi's EpiPen. We have some packets of hand sanitizer for the park, of course. Then we have our medicine bag. We cannot forget this medicine bag. It has some of everything in here. Jason actually takes a prescribed medication for his liver transplant. So we definitely need that. We have a fresh bottle of it because we're going out of town for seven days and we don't need to have him running out at all because we went through that last time we went on vacation and it was a disaster to get it delivered up there. So we have our my toms at least we got some allergy some ibuprofen some tylenol some cough cold so sore throat their vitamins um my tylenol and we have some arnica pills for bloating and swelling for me of course because we know that i had recently had hernia surgery and i'm still healing from a tummy tuck <laughs> so we're gonna have some swelling and we're going to prevent all of that with our meds. Then we got the syringes. And we also have Gigi's um, solution for her nebulizer. Which I'm also going to pack. But we're not going to pack that today. Because we still have tonight before we leave. And she's going to do a breathing treatment tonight. So we're going to pack that afterwards. But for now we're putting everything in there. Very neatly. Then we have some electronics that we are going to need. Not really sure if I'm going to be able to use this in the parks or not. I was reading some rules and stuff and they said you can't have selfie sticks or stuff that extends. This tripod does extend. I don't know if they would consider it a selfie stick. So yeah. But it has, this is why it's my favorite though. Because it has this little attachment for the light. And then you just connect the phone and you don't really have you don't have to extend it at all it can literally just sit on the table and that's that like perfect right but we'll see what happens I'm definitely not gonna take it to the park with me I'm gonna ask before I go at the resort but yeah we're gonna pack this and we're just gonna stick it in here because this little bag has a spot for a laptop so that has cushion in it so all of my electronics that I you know, concerned about being squished, we're going to put there. We got some lights. We're going to leave JCN's headphones out because he's going to be using these in the car. But these are just the Beats headphones. And we have Gigi's camera that we're probably going to be putting inside of her bag. Not quite sure yet. But... Everything else is going to be going in here. So far, we have this packed up, and we still have some space, and we also have side pockets. So what I'm going to do now is put our um, magic bands in the side pocket here, which is supposed to be for shoes. I mean, believing. I think that's what it's for but it's a nice little spot that we can put our mics that I'm not using right now so if the volume sucks it's because I have to use my external display and I can't connect my mic so I'm trying to talk as loud as possible we also have our fuel rod which I got in 2018 so I think it's still like grandfather's in the free switch out I'm not sure, but I think it's like $3 to switch it out. And I got this on our Make-A-Wish trip, so it was free. We're going to stick that in there with our electronics. Then I have a power bank that I've already pre-charged. We have a portable fan. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick it in here and then we have all of our magic bands and chargers 
So everyone for Disney has their own magic band. And of course, me and dad has the um, lightning band plus, which was actually supposed to be for everyone. But I made a boo-boo and I let the kids select which one they wanted. Not realizing that the, um, the pre-arrival selection, these two here, were um, not Magic Band Plus. They were just in the uh, cute design. So I believe this one is Fantasyland and this one is uh, Tomorrowland maybe? I'm not sure. But, or maybe this one's Fantasyland, this one's Tomorrowland, who knows? But yeah, there were options for the pre-arrival selection, so when we get to the park, we'll definitely be getting the kids their own Magic Band Plus, because Jason has already said that he wants this one because he can turn it orange, which is perfect for him, because it's his favorite color. So, I was going to put those on the side. Actually, I am. I'm going to stick these right here on the side as well with our chargers for those. And I'm just gonna zip this up. And now in here, I am going to find a spot for my candle, which is perfectly fitting right here, because I needed to have a little bit of cushion behind it, you know? It's gonna fit it right there. And then we have my waterproof case that I got from Amazon. I'm not sure if it's actually waterproof, but here's the brand. It's gonna be my first time using it. It had pretty good reviews. So I'm trusting that this will keep my phone dry. I'm just gonna stick that on top of that. And then we have the kids noise canceling headphones. But I think I'm gonna put those in the bag as well as this seat cover for the potty for Gigi. Since we're gonna be there for an entire week, I want her to be as comfortable as possible and her falling inside of the toilet is not very comfortable. So we do have a little portable potty seat, extender, whatever you call it, that I got from Amazon and we're gonna be using that. Also what I'm gonna put in this bag are our lanyards so we're going to be going to Universal as well, and you know that you're going to need a lanyard for Universal because you can possibly lose your annual pass, ticket, whatever you have, you know? So we have these that have the clips for the belt, and then they also have the strings, you know, to hang around your neck. Got this full set from Amazon, of course, and I'll let you know exactly how they work out for us. I'm going to put that in there. Then we have our other lanyard that is from our Make-A-Wish trip. I figured we might as well bring it since it has everything that we used on our Make-A-Wish trip. Maybe we can get a little bit of perks, I don't know, from wearing it. Maybe like, mm, come on over here, I don't know. But we'll see. So, I think right now, that is all we are gonna be able to fit in this bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip it up. Oh, I can put Gigi's camera in here though. I can definitely just stick that right on top. Not a big deal. And then zip right on up. And I still feel like I have plenty of space in here if I need to put something else. Um, actually, I'm going to put our ponchos in here. We have some clear ponchos that are just disposable. Then we have these nicer brand ponchos that they're both came from amazon but you can clearly tell the difference here there's seven in here there's four in here but we are going to be packing these as well because we go on water rides it's florida so it rains it's unpredictable at this point when it comes to weather so just gonna stuff those right in front because it's ponchos that are already bad, so it doesn't really have to be zipped up, right? So this bag is completely done. I'm gonna put that to the side now and move on. So now that I have me a little bit of space, I guess I can go ahead and open the 
a suitcase, which suitcase? Oh, matter of fact, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm just going to use these wrapping seal bags to go ahead and start packing everything up that I have here because it's a lot of Okay, guys, so I uh I messed up. I had to go ahead and switch vacuum bags. So what I'm doing now is just transitioning everything over to this larger vacuum packing bag. And I am going to finish packing it up. So now I have there are swim towels that are left to be packed up from their put towels. I'm going to put that right on top. And if you're wondering why I am not filling that side and this side, because it says stock, obviously. And plus, my suitcase kind of cuts off at that point. So it's pointless to put that stuff over there because then now I'm folding and I'm using way too much space. My whole thing is about saving my space and packing as few luggages as possible. So now that we got that, oh, I'm going to go ahead and also put Gigi's costumes in here with their stuff. So she has Anna and she also has Elsa, not Elsa. Wait, hold on. No. Rewind. <laughs> she has her Rapunzel dress that happens to light up. And then she has her, I believe this is Elsa? I think this is Elsa. I'm going to say Elsa. She has her Elsa costume as well. And these, this cape lights up. So, that's why she's only taking eight outfits. Because she's planning on wearing her costumes as well. So we're going to go ahead and put these in here. I'm going to actually take this off the hanger. or No, I'm going to leave it on the hanger because why not? But we're going to just go ahead and start the And that is all the kids. Oh. Yep. Yeah. So now we can seal this. Now we just have to find the thingy. Now that's cool. I can take the lid off of this and go ahead and take all of the air out. back on just so I don't lose any of my compression. I'm not sure if that is actually a thing, but I'm going to put the top back on just because. So, now we got that done, I can move on to the adult stuff. So, knowing that I needed the bigger bag for the kids, I'm definitely going to need a bigger bag for our stuff. So, let me go ahead and grab that. Okay guys, so now that I have everything ready to fill a bag, I'm going to start off with baby stuff and I'm just going to do the same exact thing, a bit sliding to one side and leaving a gap on the other. 
so that when it's time to put it in the suitcase, it's not a big deal on folding and wasting space. So everyone's gonna be taking a hoodie, but Bay is the only one packing his right now. Um, the kids have theirs in their book bag. They're at school right now. I have mine in the car. We're driving my car, so I don't need to pack that. Everything works out. Okay, guys, so I've moved my stuff closer. I got a pair of pajamas, a long t-shirt to sleep in. And then I have a pair of long jeans, just in case. Two pair of long leggings, just in case. Um, a one-piece jumpsuit. A dress with shorts that goes underneath the athletic dress, of course. And then I have this other athletic little outfit. It's a skirt, but it has shorts that goes underneath. So we're going to try to see if we can get it worn <laughs> this vacation. But so far, that's what we have for me. And we're just going to set that on top of this stuff. Make sure we're pushing everything back because we don't want to go over the stop line, of course. Then I have the rest of my clothes. Um, everything's in outfits, of course. This is one, two, three, four, five, six outfits of mine. And then I had uh, the athletic dress, the two athletic outfits, and then a jumpsuit, the extra leggings, the extra jeans. Like, we have enough stuff, apparently. Of course, we do, right? So I am going to separate this pal. And just go ahead and stick stuff on top of his. To compress it. Oh, and I also have my out my um underwear, bras, and my swim towel and swimsuits. So we're gonna definitely put that in here, of course. And we're gonna have to separate this down. So we're gonna put underwear and drawers in first. Put that on top of it. And then, and then we have some swim stuff. And just put that on top. And I'm gonna sew this back in. Okay, guys, so I'm finally back. I have some things I had to handle, pick up. Jays from the bus, all that other good stuff. But we finally got everything vacuum sealed. So it wound up being three vacuum sealed bags. Let me show you exactly which brand I'm using. These are the bags that I'm using today. Of course, got them on Amazon. And they fit perfectly in my bag, except with the exception of some really big extra space on the sides. But um, other than that, they're perfect. So I'm going to actually put, this is a mix of bay stuff and my swimsuits in here. And then I'm going to also stuff the socks around the edges in the space that we have over here. There's space around the edges. I thought I got everything packed to the side, but apparently I didn't. So I still have tons of space around the edges to pack stuff. So I'm gonna stick all the socks that we are taking with us in the sides. Then let's see. Um, oh, I got my waist trainers and my my waist trainer in my abdominal binder. I'm gonna stick that there. Well, but I'm gonna just go ahead and zip everything up because I think that's it for right over here. Zip this side up. Start, and now I'm gonna put my fanny pack and my belt right here on this little area. And I'm gonna 
throw the tip bag on the other side. And if it's perfectly, I'm just going to cut on the extra underneath. And I'm still got a little bit of space on the sides. So I'm going to stick Jace's swim shoes in here. This bag is ready. Go ahead and close this up. Over, of course. Now that is one suitcase ready to go. But um, we got a couple more, so I'm gonna just speed this up. So you guys don't have to deal with me rambling on and on. Hey guys, so we just have a few items left to pack. Not too many. I am gonna be using a second suitcase, of course, because we are going to be going to the outlets while we're there. Why not? So we will need space to carry stuff back home with us, of course. So the second suitcase is gonna have one of the vacuum compressed bags with my clothes only in it because everybody else's stuff is already packed in the larger suitcase and then it's going to have to put all of this other extra stuff that we're taking with us hats um our toiletry bag Gigi's park bag an extra pair of shoes for myself our tumblers our compressible water bottles my makeup case and my park bag and Jason's park bag. Jason's park bag is already packed. He's taking a bunch of toys with him. So he's also using that as his carry along bag. Um, my park bag actually has our steel stuff in it already. So I'm not even gonna unpack that, but I will show you what's in it. We have all our bottles and the bubble, the little blower machines, because those things are expensive. And it seems like if they see it, they want it. But these have been packed since January. No complaints at all. So we're gonna pull them out when we get to see rail and when they ask for them. <laughs> Pro tip, by the way. <laughs> Okay guys, so I finally finished packing and we have everything that we're going to be taking on our seven day vacation to Orlando. We have three suitcases, um, a book bag, a duffel, and that's the little lunch sack right there that we'll just be using in the part to keep our snacks and food or whatever we have safe until we get back to the resort. So that we don't have to keep wasting money buying stuff and throwing it out. But I'm also going to be taking a kid's tent and a blow-up car mattress. I've seen another mom on YouTube do this for her kids. She set up a tent and a blow-up mattress for them and they had a ball with it. So I figured my kids would probably love it as well. So... That's it. We were able to get everything packed and stored in this set of luggage. And we'll see you when we get to Orlando. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.